Hello and welcome back. Um, so what's going on now? Well, uh, as you've seen everything has been stripped um, and everything is in here and it's been kind of cleaned. Um, not absolutely fantastically but I'm happy with it. Um, so I've ordered some metal axles. Yes, I know. Uh, <laughs> But that's really just to keep the weight low. Um, I don't really like metal axles as such, but they do undoubtedly help with um, you know keeping things a little more grounded. And the TRX4 is no exception in that even with the tactical shell on, the, 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 the shell is heavy and it rolls. So that's my plan. They were £30 delivered, so I thought that was pretty good value. Um, so, about making the um, diffs uh, locked all the time. So what happens there? Well, the kit that I've ordered or just received, the postman has been today, is Traxxas part number 8297. And this is called, I couldn't remember it in the uh, first video, a spool stroke differential housing plug with E-clip. Now, what that is, is this here. Now that goes into the main um, uh, diff gear, okay and it then locks the diff so it means that you can't have it unlocked at any point it stays locked all the time in the packet you get these screws also the plug and e-clip to go on the back of the um, diff casing uh, where the cable would normally go but you get the cable goes in there and it pulls over a little lever backwards and lever backwards and forwards um, so yeah that is what that's for. Oops, just not the camera. So how does it look normally? Well normally uh, you've got, now when I've lost it, where has it gone? Where did I put it? Oh it's in there already. So this is the main diff gear uh, which has got a little cog in here which slots through the middle and then this with all the little gears inside like that sits and bolts onto here. So this is the system that that helps the diffs lock and unlock. So um, what you do is you take this section out. Now hopefully it won't be as difficult to get out as it was the first time. Out you come. There we go. So get rid of that. What happens is, this goes through here, locks in like that, you screw it in with the four supplied screws, um, and you then get hold of the axle, and it goes in like this. And that's then your permanently locked diff. Um, it's a very good and easy kit, really. Uh, I think I was thinking when I was looking at the part, uh, when I was ordering it, thinking, how on earth does that work? But yeah, now now I've had this apart um, and and seen what's going on. Uh, now it's quite clear um, about what ha what happens and how it works. Um, look at the state of these properly rank. Uh, yeah, so all the muck's getting inside, definitely. So that's a lot of stuff to clean. I mean, you know. The locking and unlocking diff is pretty damn cool, and it makes the, the, the truck more kind of versatile, I guess. But I, I really don't use them, and, and now I want them locked full time. This is a great solution. They, I have seen online other people doing kind of things, you know, gluing the lever over, or welding the lever over, and things like that um, to keep them locked. But the, I mean, these there's two of them, obviously for front and back. These kits were £11 for Model Sport, so for £22 it's now locked, I don't have to worry. I can ditch the two servos. Uh, yeah, so that's good. So I'm waiting at the moment for the metal um, axles, so I'm not going to start putting things back together. I'm also waiting for the bearing kit, that hasn't arrived yet either. So there will be a jump cut and it will be on a completely different day and time um, when we continue this video and 
start putting things back together and see how it looks. Um, of course, what I didn't say in the other video is I am going to strip the gearbox and replace the bearings in there as well um, because they all need doing, judging by the state of the uh, axles. So, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, jump cut, and we'll catch you in a moment. Okay, here's the jump cut. Welcome back. The axle, front axle, is now completely back together, including all the portals. So everything has been greased, um, cleaned, new bearings. Um, what I'm going to do is zoom in slightly um, so you can have a look at the kit or how it looks with the permanently locked diff. So um, this kind of shaft, if you like, bolts onto the original um, diff gear and you have a bearing here and a bearing here. So it's a lot of a much it's a lot simpler setup than originally because obviously originally you had uh, the um, lever that moves the uh, shaft over to engage it to lock the diffs or unlock the diffs. Uh, whereas this is a lot more simple. Um, and it went in really well. Um, as did all the new bearings. Um, I haven't cleaned the outside of the plastics because there's not really much point. Everything is spinning nicely. Um, everything's greased now. I can hear Mal or Baz Boy. Uh, he's going to sleep easy tonight, aren't you, Mal? <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's all good and it went together really nicely. The kit worked really well. Uh, it just slotted straight in, was no trouble at all. There's been a bit of a delay doing this just because, you know, life gets in the way. Um, things are just busy. So this is a metal axle, uh, a metal casing now, stiff casing. Um, the these arms are still plastic; they're the original, as are the uh, portals as well. Because I just didn't have the funds at the moment, I couldn't justify um, spending the money. So this has just added a little bit more weight. Um, the body shell that you've seen. Uh, in the last part, I think it's part three, uh, so this will be part four. Uh, it should keep the weight down, this should put some more weight lower down and with a lighter body shell. Hopefully it won't be quite so roll happy. Um, so if we zoom out again, um, really all I need to do is put the axle cover back on. Again, that's the original plastic one. Um, and what we'll then do is um, put this back on the truck. The next thing that's going to happen is the gearbox is going to be stripped down. So I'm not going to, I'm going to take the gearbox out of the truck first and then we're going to strip it down on video. Well, I'm going to strip it down on video, sorry. Um, just to see what kind of condition it's in. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better than the axles because obviously it's not quite as low down, not submerged as often, doesn't get, you know, all the rubbish and grit and everything else as much as the axles do. But you never know. This is my truck after all. So yeah, uh, I will do that as soon as I can. Uh, the, you know, the project's progressing quite well. I'm quite pleased with it and it should be an awesome truck again uh, when it's all back together. So catch up soon folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and bye for now.